Alrighty, so I don't know if you guys are hating this event as much as I am, but uh, I am not having fun with this one. So, uh, yeah, we've got this new demonic beast gray and fight, and obviously it's really easy if you have the one Escanor, but uh, I'm assuming not all of you were able to pull him, which is very unfortunate. So uh, I'm going to do one run with Escanor, and then we're going to try and get a decent run without Escanor, uh, this Escanor, the one Escanor, the blue one, uh, and so, yeah, I am not having fun with this. I don't know why they decided to just throw every hard debuff and buff on this one specific enemy, but, uh, they did it, which I guess just goes to show that Escanor really is a monster, but... Uh, even with Escanor on the team, I still have trouble with it sometimes. So going into the fight, uh, the biggest problem with this fight is that he... Oh no, don't do that. <laughs> he has a lot of different kinds of stances and stuff like that that really hinder you. And you want to use as much burst damage to get him down as quickly as possible during this first phase as you can. The second phase is kind of an issue because you cannot take his ult gauge off, so it's obviously, you know, a, a bit tough in some areas. But this first phase is almost, like, ridiculous in, in its own right. Like, if, I, if I'm not using Escanor, I cannot get below, like, half HP on the first turn. And even if I do, it's a miracle. So, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so we didn't get great RNG here. We only pulled one more Escanor card. But I don't know... We may end up being able to do a little bit here. Um, the biggest problem is if if we don't kill him on this turn, he is going to get one turn debuff, or uh, it's actually immunity. We were able to kill him, okay. So that's not terrible. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Obviously, if you guys have been doing this event, you, you realize how hard this is at this point, but just getting a good run on this can be so frustrating. It's absolutely ridiculous. So we are going to throw out these right here. Uh, I have Liz on the team because she's really good at removing debuffs and stuff like that, which is really nice. So we're going to use her as much as possible. I also have her because in phase one, if I don't end up doing enough damage uh, during the first couple of turns, he starts to assume the stances or he'll put on debuff or like the buffs that make him immune to you know any damage at all. So he's invincible and uh, you can actually use her card to remove debuffs which is really nice you have to get it to well you can do it at level one actually but if you if you have this and you make it a level three card or you can just you know uh upgrade it with uh, uh gother <laughs> you can make it remove stances as well which is also very very good so one of the biggest things is that he can put on this uh attack stat uh, reduction and it actually is enough to really hinder your damage here so we don't have a whole lot of Escanor cards in hand, so I think we're going to be okay for now. Let's go ahead and remove these so we don't take too much damage. Actually, I think we're just going to heal up with the ultimate here. We're going to use Escanor's card, and then we will move this, and then throw this Gother card away here. Because, obviously, Escanor is really good for this because he gets sort of debuff immunity, which is really nice. But... It's also kind of an issue because everybody else is going to have a ton of ignites on them. So you want to have something that you can, you know, purge the debuffs. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're not going to be able to do that now. That's fantastic. And we didn't pull any uh, Escanor cards, which is really fun. So. We are going to throw this out. Throw this out. And I think we're just going to go for all these ults because we really can't do much else. Luckily, he does not have his ultimate yet, which is very good because it's an AoE ult that will absolutely destroy you. He patients that ultimate. That is fantastic. Uh, but he did have the uh, the reduction on. Okay, we finally got some Escanor cards, which is really good. We still cannot remove debuffs, which is very bad. I'm hoping Escanor removes debuffs this turn. If not, we are screwed. Uh, he did not. We are screwed here. <laughs> oh, so you can kind of see where this is going. Obviously, like, it's just... It's just a ridiculous fight. I don't know why they decided to make this one so hard. But you can imagine, I mean, this is with him on the team. You Using other teams that don't have him on there, you're going to have a really hard time. So, 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to restart this one because uh, I, I can't do anything here. Watch this ultimate absolutely destroy us. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Uh, I'll probably just end up doing my runs off camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one more run where I don't use Escanor on the team, and we'll try to see if we can do it. Uh, but I, like I said, this is crazy stupid. I don't like it at all. Okay, so here we go. I had to make sure that all my gear and everything was situated, and I didn't want you guys to sit through that. But we're going in. We've got the mono red team with a green Liz on the side here. Um, only other unit that I really know that's actually really good for this fight is green or blue Liz Hawk. Um, she's actually really good, surprisingly. Uh, so we are just going to go in and try to get as much as we can with Escanor here because uh, we're going to try to rush his ult here in the first first couple of turns. Um, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot about his debuff immunity and stuff like that. Uh, or not debuff immunity, but his uh, like stances and everything. But uh, we're gonna try our best, because <laughs> I mean, although you can beat it with this, it's it's pretty slow, which I mean isn't isn't a huge deal, I guess, as long as you can beat it. But honestly, for this one, a lot of people are gonna end up having to do lower difficulties, which is super frustrating because you want to do it on the highest difficulty so you can get the most points. And his CC really isn't all that high, so I mean, you would think, oh hey, like I might be able to do that, like no no problem. But uh, he's absolutely ridiculous, so. It's actually just super annoying. Escanor is actually doing some really good damage too, which is really nice. Boom, boom. Pretty sure, yeah, he has like a damage reflect too, which is so annoying. Like, why does he have every single thing in the book? Like, he's got it all, man. Okay, so I think we are going to... Remove this, shoot that off, because why not? Uh, we unfortunately don't have anything to get or to uh, help with Escanor's Amplify, so I think we're just going to skip a turn there. So get rid of those. Uh, we actually needed to keep a uh, ult removal card with Escanor too, so that's really dumb on my part. Liz is dead. Dude, his single target is crazy as well. I mean... Ridiculous. Plus, okay, so now he's gonna have this. Dude, it's just so frustrating, man. Why did they make this one so, like, crazy? Like, <laughs> I know it seems like I'm just ranting here, but it's ridiculous, dude. Like, I would be very surprised. I'm gonna throw this out just because I know this run is pretty much dead. Um, I wanna see if this can even hurt him. 18k. Ay, 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 ay. So we got Escanor's ult. He's gonna throw on immunity right here, which is gonna absolutely hinder us. Uh, he stuns. Boom, both stunned. Oh my god, man. I really doubt I'm gonna be able to take off the ultimate gauge here. We're just gonna throw some of these cards around because it doesn't really matter. Patience every bit of that. Oh, he's actually got invincibility, so that was just dumb on my part. Yeah, you can tell I'm not a good player as well, so. I don't know, man. This one's ridiculous. Like, it really does. It's just all, like... I mean, the game is very RNG-heavy as it is, but... Yeah, this one just really doesn't give you a whole lot of chance with it. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys are having better luck with this one than I am. I would love to have, like, a, a decent guide for you guys to do this, but it's just... This is ridiculous. I really don't know what else to do. 15k. Patience. God, I, I don't know. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me struggle through this. Hopefully you guys are not as frustrated with it as I am. But uh, it's just ridiculous, man. I just, like, you gotta clear the, the thing to get rewards. And you, <laughs> it's hard to clear it. Um, and uh, you just want stuff. So, I don't know. You would think... It's a festival. Let's give them a bunch of free stuff, and they did that. But you gotta, <laughs> you gotta fight the hardest boss you've ever fought. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed me ranting. Uh, I don't like this boss. Hopefully, you guys are better off than I am. Anyway, uh, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.